How going everybody? So this is basically a video just to say my piece in a sense with what is going on here in Budapest for me, Taekwondo Tracy and what I'm faced with at the moment. So right now, based on what I know, I am officially off the four by one. I won't be competing due to um what i can say is favoritism due to this gentleman here maurice wilson um he's as some may know the head coach of the team and i'm being replaced by an athlete which being replaced is not my major problem at the moment is who and how i'm being replaced right i did my due diligence and got to the national championships and made sure I did what I needed to do to be selected for the team. I was selected. Um, you can see the the, um, the selection from J3 that was released. But I knew it was something a bit off when we got to Budapest for the training camp. When we got there, there was an additional person. This person no one knew of him being selected for the team and of course this person is coached by maurice wilson the head coach of the national team right when we got there and training everything was going well training start doing a lot of button passes i was out there getting ready to run the third leg and um fast forward to when we got here to the, the official era in Budapest and training started again for the, for the relays. I noticed a shift, especially after the, this was the big shift I noticed was after the mixed relays. For whatever reason, and I don't necessarily want to speak on what happened on the mixed relays because it has nothing to do with me directly. The persons who are involved with that, if they choose to, that's up to them. But what I'm saying, and Oral Tracy, Oral Tracy basically gave a very good view of what happened on that mixed relay. An extremely clear view on what happened on that mixed relay. Um, so when we got here, and after the mix-up, everybody started scampering around. So now they're saying, oh, um, they can't afford to mess up again, so they need to put the best teams out there. So of course, when I got to the meeting, most people would know that yeah, there are normally six persons for the relay pool, right? This time around, it's seven, with the addition of Maurice Wilson's athlete, who did not make the team because he wasn't selected from our knowledge. From what I understand, they selected him and they didn't release that to the public, but he was a part of the team. and. It was a surprise to everybody. We came here and he's here. There has been a whole heap of bias and privileges people have been gotten. As a lot of people like to say that a links get your places in a Jamaica. Right? And this right here so is a prime example because an athlete is not supposed to be on the team. And he's here because his coach is the head coach of the team. And when you also think about it, right, if they're going to say, oh, this person ran XYZ time, that's not a valid point. You have Julian Ford, Kishian Thomas, and Johan Blake, who has run faster than him more than once, right? But unfortunately, they didn't make the team, but their coach isn't the national, the head coach, which him, Maurice Wilson, would like to have people think that he has nothing with nothing to do with the athlete being here right and from my point of view i am feeling extremely cheated and i feel like mr wilson has a personal vendetta against me for whatever reason i don't know because this is not the first time i'm i've been in a situation where i am being replaced by one of his athletes right Today, I've been, well, for the longest while, I've been trying to, you know, 
sort this out. So basically what they're trying to tell me now is I should just forget about how we got here. I should think about the fact that he's here and they are going to run him on the team. Now here is the joke. They select a five member team. Right? They are only going to run five persons. I, Michael Campbell is not on that five. Right? And they included KJ and Gosen who shouldn't even be here in the first place. Right? They are going to run him in the heats and then replace him with Watson, from my knowledge. And the people who are in charge of this team are trying to act blind to the fact that there are some fishiness going on. Right? And don't want to speak out against it. They are trying to be as diplomatic as possible because over the years, if you don't know, J3 has been, well, people has tried to speak out against J3 and it's like certain things just don't go well for them afterwards. Right? So you have a lot of people who don't want to say nothing about them. So today, you now, I ended up doing an interview with TVJ, which should be released shortly before this video. And right after the interview, I, they said they needed to, you know, get some word from Wilson because this, this, this is not, this is not right. I mean, principal is principal. And as a principal of a university, I would think he would know something about principal, right? When we, when he got, when they went over there and I was, I was being a bit, a bit of a, a bit of a miscreant in a sense, right? And I went over there as well. And when they were trying to ask him the questions, I went there and, and stood up. I just stood up and I went like this, but my hat was the other way. And I was looking at him because I wanted to hear his response to the questions. And he was, because he wasn't saying these things on camera, of course. He was trying to answer certain things and try to, to avoid doing the interview. So he was talking to them and I was there listening. And when he looked up and saw me, he looked into my face and he said, he asked me, can I help you? I said, no, no, I'm just standing here. And then he also said to me, said, do you want something? He said, no, I'm just there, you know, just like everybody else. I'm just here. So then he said to the reporters that, you know what? Can we take this somewhere else? Because I, I don't know what this is. I'm like, when you might tell you somewhere else, is this something you're saying that you don't want me to hear? Right? So then I walked away and I, I walked away to like, maybe like about 30, 40 feet away from him. And I leaned on this um, column and I was listening to him talk. And I couldn't hear much. So then I walked away and I said, I shouted, God, I hope you're watching. I don't know if you heard, but I shouted, hoping he would, right? Because I would think he's a man of God, or I guess, I don't know, right? So, shortly after I received a phone call, I know this is where things get, things get childish, because that's the best way I can put it. This is where things get childish. So I got a phone call from the security liaison for us. Because I think everybody on the team, every team is supposed to have like a security person there, somebody that is in charge of security, right? Got a call and uh, he, the, he sounded a bit, you know, like upset because I know, I know him and he know me and he, I, he always speaks in high regard of me because I'm a nice person until you try to cross me, in a sense. You respect me, I respect you, you disrespect me. If you're an elder, you probably get two chance, but... You get the drift. Right? Um, he said that um, he got a call from Mr. Wilson telling him to pull my accreditation and get me off the team because I disrespected him and was going on and on and off and off. So I said, so I'm there and I'm like, wait, 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 what do you mean? And he must say, yeah, he must say, disrespect him and we need to get you off of the team and pull your accreditation. Just because I'm fighting for what I think and what I truly believe is my right. Okay? So, he wants to get rid of me now. And when 
afterwards, he was, I said, listen, listen, listen. I won't explain myself to you. I'm going to call three persons' name. These three persons were there while whatever took place, took place. Ask them and then come back to me and tell me what they said. Right? Because if I'm going to say I didn't do this, it's going to be word of mouth. And I mean, if they should go to court, I think a jury would believe a principal of a university over Taiko in the Tracy. Right? So I said, listen, there were people there. Ask them. Ask them what I said to him. Ask them how I disrespected him in a way for him to want to get me off the team. Get me out of Budapest. Right? These are the things some of us athletes face because they are countless times and if we do the research, the proper research, you will see that there are athletes who shouldn't be on the team, are on the team. And most times, they all are affiliated with him. Right? So, it, you, you as a coach, a principal, a human being, are messing with other people's career just for your own personal gain. Right? I came here with the notion that I was going to compete. And all of a sudden, just because you 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 guys messed up and you know they are blaming you as the head coach for what happened because remember you were the one who said whatever selection is made you have to sign off on it in terms of release. I have been training for 12 months, 2 weeks, and 2 days. And you are telling me that I should just forget about all of my hard work. My coach went to speak to him. And from what I heard, what he said to my coach, I should just relax because everybody's going to get paid. You think I'm doing this for money? You think this is just for the money? The money is a bonus. If I was that desperate when it comes to money, I would just go I would go, go straight into construction. I would just go straight into what I've been doing in college. Right? So you would say, oh, you, you, everybody's going to get paid. From what I know, only persons who run get money. And medal. I'm here for the medal. I'm here to compete. I'm here to represent Jamaica. I'm not here to make you feel comfortable. If you wanted to feel comfortable, you would have prepared your athlete properly to make sure they did what they needed to do at the championship. My coach did. Right? So, fix. I don't expect anything to be fixed because you changing whatever is going on right now is going to be an admission of guilt. We all know that. But all I'm saying is that this matter right here, I'm going to press it until the very end. Because I'm not going to, 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 to just walk away from this. You are a very evil and vindictive person. You are unfair. And you have been doing this for more than one, for a while now. And you have been getting away with it. And as I said... I am not going to let this slide. Because this is my career. This is my life. You are fooling around with this. I am not no toy for you. I don't know if you have toys at your house, but I am not one of them. So, I guess we will see how this plays out in the next less than two days, less than 48 hours. Guess we'll see how it plays out because obviously he desperately wants his athlete to compete while he went through the lens of of making sure that nobody knew that he was selected for the team. And when I think about it, it, it just don't make any sense. Right? You're trying to you're trying to make sense of nonsense and try to make People who have a little bit of brain look like they have none. But we will see how this plays out, everyone.
thanks for watching we can just share this because this news needs to get everywhere because it's a matter of, it's a national matter i mean it's a national team so do what you need to do thank you